What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Graham Carey's Road to Glory. It's time for episode 3 and if I've done everything correctly this will be free uploads in 3 days. So if you do enjoy that make sure to smash the like on the video. As I say leave a comment, anything um, regarding the video you want to let me know about please do. Sorry about last time, I took comments aboard uh, regarding the music. I didn't realise how loud I'd actually set it during the middle of the video so I'm really sorry about that and I will get that sorted. Also the giveaway, uh, I've g it's still running, as I say I was going to announce it in this video but there's still people commenting on the video so to just give people a little bit more of a chance. Uh, I'll do it on like a wheel so you have an opportunity to see who wins. Now you'll notice uh, we have spent a few coins, now this is because uh, I've decided to finish off the, I believe it's in basic challenges, the hybrid intro SBC. Now, I did look at it and think I couldn't actually make a loss because we get a thousand coins back plus a two player pack, which is going to be 1200 coins at least, even if it's discard, which will actually allow us to make a profit. Uh, I do believe a lot of these players uh, I picked up for like 150 coins, like on bid, uh, put it together. Obviously, you don't really need to see that, but it's done. We're going to submit it uh, and get a thousand coins back, which is fantastic. And. A, a two red gold players pack. Now, even if we get absolutely nothing, which is probably what's going to happen, I can see us getting 1200 coins back at least. So, we're going to store the kit into the club. Probably not going to use it. I like the kits we've got already the Argyle kit. So, we're going to go to the store. Will we get lucky? This could help kickstart the RTG if we can get a good player. Who's it going to be? It's not a good flare, unfortunately. Oh. You know, Werner's actually not the worst player, but, I mean, to be honest, he could be a decent super sub. We also get Nem. These are, like, two players that are uh, kind of, like, sweaty subs might be quite handy, but I don't ever think they're going to see the light of the day in the team, so, and I don't think they're worth anything. Just, I'll check just in case they're in for, like, an SBC or something. It looks like I can sell Werner for, like, 850, so I will list him. And Nem, Nem is going to be like straight discard. But Werner sells for a little bit more for some reason. I don't know why. But he does. When he does, it should put us up to about 2,600 coins. So next thing to do in this episode is hopefully get qualified up from Division 10 to Division 9. Two more wins needed. Uh, we're going to crack into the next game and hopefully we can take home the title. Alright, we're going to be playing FC Nordstadt. He has got a Bristol Rovers badge. Is he going to have a classic Division 10 team? What I mean by that, I start team players all over the place. Okay, so this could be a more difficult game. He's got a recent goal, but he has got Alex Hunter up front. So he obviously knows how to play FIFA. Um, a few goal cards in there. Chemistry is very off. You never know. This could be a little bit of a tougher game. As I say, the fact that he's got Alex Hunter... You might not have played FIFA. Hopefully we can take it home. Oh, Sarsovic. Oh, it's a good goal. A Reese. Surprised he couldn't do any better. I was actually going to drop Sarsovic from this game to allow him to get some uh, fitness. But I did use one of the cards I had in the club. He's uh, he's come ahead in clutch. It's 1-0. Happy days. Oh, it's another ridiculous save from the Reese. I can't, literally boys, I'm trying everything I can here to break him down and I, I really, really can't seem to put a second goal past him. Alright, it's been a tough first half to be honest. Um, here's the uh, stats if you want to see them. I mean, apparently I've only had two shots on target but I'm pretty sure with the saves I've shown you and the goal I had alone it's more than that. But what do I know? I'm going to bring on Suarez just because uh, I'm also actually I think going to bring on a few of the goal players here. Um, Jota. I'm going to bring on Ansigiri just to bolster the team a little bit and hopefully put the game to bed. So as I say, he has been very, very good at the back. Have a dig, Graham. Another save from the Reese straight at him. What can we do from the corner? Probably could have taken it a little bit further there. Oh, that's a great cross. Suarez does it. 2 0, boys. He's been brought on and he's done what he needed to do. And I was put the ball in the back of the net. A little bit of a breather there, a little bit of a sigh of relief. Two and up. That hopefully is game over, but I don't want to speak too soon. Great through ball. That was a good passage of play. Suarez finishes it. It's 3-1. 3-1, 3-0. 
Can we get three three nil rage quits on the drop? Remember the last episode if you've not seen that already. We did get two rage quits after going three nil up, and once again, something just got mad outside the house. Three nil, another win in the bag. One more from getting that all important title. All right, boys. So for this game, turns out Slu got injured again with another foot injury. As I was saying before, it's quite a difficult one to uh, to deal with. So. Uh, we're starting with the same lineup. Now, I didn't actually realise, though, that because he's uh, not actually a right wing card, it's a right mid. Kennedy's only getting three chemistry. So, what I'm probably going to do is swap them over and then take out Donaldson in game and bring Jota on. Will probably be the best move. And I might even bring on Suarez up front for the last game of his loan just to get promoted up to Division 9. Just so it's done in this episode. Um, and we can get those extra, I think it's like 2,000 coins for winning the league. That will mean that we hopefully we can start as well on some SBC challenges, and I know that's what you sort of boys want to see. We're playing Primal Scream. His team name is Beast. Let's see what he's rocking. As I say, if we win this Division Nine, here we come. Coins in the bank, and once again he's got Alex Hunter, which just to me that he might be a good player. Could be a tough match. Let's see how we get on. So yeah, I think we are going to do it. I'm going to take Donaldson off, bring Jota on, and get Suarez on for the last game of his loan. Just as I say, uh, you know what? It's, it's frustrating when you don't do it in one go. And I think to get four wins on the board, get it finished and done in this game would be a lot better. And I feel doing that will certainly help. We have got a chance here, though. Carey going to have a curler. Close. We're not close enough. All right, it's a cracking ball. Suarez, lovely. 1-0. Step closer. I, I mean... <laughs> It's not just a title, it's those 2,000 coins really that are quite handy. I think that's going to take us close to 5,000, which, if I'm correct, will probably be enough to do an SBC. And a lot of them, I'm sure you can do sort of risk-free, but it's pretty much that you can sell the whole pack on for um, for the coins that it ends up, the SBC, the SBC actually costs you. Although we do have a bit of a chance here. Oh, Gary Sawyer. Wonderful. Oh. Ooh, heck. Ooh, heck. Oh, good football. Sorry, I was a bit silent there. I was just trying to focus in. But it's Graham Carey that gets the goal. The man of the myth of the legend. The man of the series. I think that might even be his third goal of the series so far in four games. Which is not too bad at all. If we can get this a 3-0, there might be a chance once again we can get a rage quit. Here goes Carey. Oh, he's running through. Oh, some good defending by him. Oh, Suarez dancing. Dancing, dancing, 45th minute. I doubt we'll get a rage quit in this game, though, as it is the 45th minute. But if we get four rage quit on the trot, I will be very, very happy. No, I don't think he's going to do it. It's a shame. I thought I thought that we could have got four on the trot. Suarez with the chance. Oh, it's a lovely finish. Lovely, lovely finish. We're going to pause again. Hope for another rage quit. Can we get one? Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. I, I think there was anyone I could bring on, actually, just to uh, just to give himself. Garita hasn't had a chance to play this year. No, no. I better not waste contracts. Being a road to glory, I suppose fitness and contracts. Don't really want to waste them. Um, I'm probably going to actually over some bronze packs after this in order to get a few, you know, consumables flowing through the club. Because at the moment we are scraping the uh, scraping the barrel. Oh, we've got a chance to counter here. Can we get back and defend? Oh, McCormick with a great save. No, we can see our first goal of the series. 4-1. Fair play to him for carrying on. And uh, literally, I had a corner and he's completely gone up the other end and uh, counter-attacked me and scored. Fair play to him. Oh, he's, he scored a second. I I kind of not been very focused, if I'm honest, in this. Um, there's actually football going on at the moment. Plum of our goal are actually currently losing 1-0 to Notts County at home, which is not great. Um... And therefore, I'm getting slightly pissed off about that. And I'm not, I kind of just, just tailed off. And I've allowed him to score two goals, which is not great really. But, like, they've not sort of mattered, if that made sense. Like, I think if I really, if I needed to nail down and focus, I, uh, I would have been fine. There you go, boys. That's it. We've done it. 4-2. Champions of the division. 2,493 beautiful ultimate team coins. The guy actually had more shots of target in that game. I, I honestly, I, I don't want to show you too much of it because I was just saying, like, you know, 
not very much on my <laughs> of my gauge, we say is probably the best way to put it. But that leaves us with a nice record, 5-0, 5,600 coins in the bank, absolutely brilliant. And uh, Werner has sold as well, perfect. So then, what I've decided to do is, as you can see here, I've picked up some players um, for a little bit less than the sort of recommended price uh, on open bid, as I've decided to do one of the SPCs to get a 25k pack. Now, I thought if we don't get anything, I can sell the players on, and at least then we'll make something back. As I say, eventually we will get coins back into the club. I mean, you never know. We might get lucky and get something. What I'm going to do is, is go and take these, fill out the SBC, and then I will show you what I've done in two secs. Okay, lads. So this is the team. I do apologize. I had to do a little bit of playing around because I didn't realize when I bought Juba Mertang that it was four nationalities. So I've had to put him back up on the transfer list, which I will sell on and buy Mehmedi. But this is the team. Uh, we are going to submit it. Uh, it cost us around four to four and a half thousand coins. We're going to get a twenty-five k pack back for that. So it's quality value. I think what we're going to do is once I open this, I'll sell all the players on sort of off stream and then uh, off stream. So I've forgotten recording a YouTube video. Off video, I'll um, get everyone sold and then at the start of the next episode, I think what we'll do is open some bronze packs and start to improve the team. So get your fingers crossed. Come on, can we get something decent in this 25k pack? It's not like it's not a walkout. Good flare, not a good flare. It's gonna be left back. It's Tremolinas, 81 rated. He might be handy for an SBC, so he might have a little bit of value. We do get three players in here. We get Mounier and Adriano Soldado, Gilliam, Losel, Leon, Panila, Luis Carlos, Van Beek, Heldon. And uh, Lewandowski, unfortunately, got the right one that we were after. See, the funny thing is, like, um, this guy the other week, Luis Carlos, was selling for absolutely loads during the marquee matchups. But see, like, they, they have some value, um, at least. I mean, it's going to be better, to dis better than discarding them. I don't know whether Leon sells seat just for the Liga Santander SPC. Is someone price fixed in there, or does he actually sell? I'm waiting to see, like, four or five hundred coins. Um, all right, maybe he does sell. Oh, there you go. See, 650. So at least he goes for something. Uh, I don't know what Tremolinas is going for, but considering we only paid 4,000 coins uh, for the pack. Yeah, see, it looks like Tremolinas might go for something like 15, 1,600. All right, that's not too bad. Well, I'll get on to selling these players. Thank you very much for watching the episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Please do subscribe. Episode 4 will be coming at you really, really soon, and I will see you in that. Peace.